questions for all. And of course, here on AM News, we always repeat, under, under God, because we do believe that God belongs in the courtrooms and the classrooms, coast to coast and border to border. And if you don't like it? If you don't like it, there's over 50,000 other radio stations all around this great world of ours. Simply pick one. Or? Or, as Allison would say, stick around for a minute or two. You might hear something you enjoy. Yeah, and that'd be a person calling in, giving us the update <coughs> of what it is, yeah. what it was, <coughs> what it will be, what it will be. And let's go to the let's go to the callers. Uh oh, and she just dropped up. No, there, there she is. She yeah, she shows up my her. screen. Anyway, from uh, the scenic shore of the Adriatic Ocean, let's uh, go north out of Dubrovnik. Take the dirt road to the fork in the road. Take the fork. Go to the pile of rocks. Turn right. Go to the broken limb and turn left. If you follow these simple directions correctly, you'll be at the Casa de Rachel. Hey, Rachel, what's, what's up? up? I don't think we have Rachel. Well, we did lose her then. It's air. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, we'll welcome her. I, I, I'm flattered you think I'm that attractive, but we all know better. Hmm. You, no, actually, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we've seen you, but we've seen you, we know. No, we hey, did have we got a gorgeous sunrise out here. <coughs> out here this morning. Oh wow! I think I'm getting one of these bugs going around. <laughs> Just put the bug down. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, it's kind of it's doing something weird to my ear, and I, I I hear conversations in my ear like three minutes after they finished on the radio or something. It's kind of like <laughs> like that, a delayed ear. Yeah, delayed it's, ear it's infection. Away. Hey, you know. Jeff Pisson, he's a sports writer for Yahoo Sports. He made this comment here, well, being the Hall of Fame is going on today. And whatever they might have been, liars, cheats, abusers of privilege, that is playing baseball, Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens were the best and the brightest. Forget all the rest. The voters have seven years left to get it right. This guy needs to be slapped upside his head. I'm sorry. They are liars, cheats, and abusers of a system. That's not what the Hall of Fame is about. I don't know where this guy bumped his head and uh, got this vision, but uh, and I don't know if anybody heard about this. Kelly Kupro, she she was calling the Bachelor. My phone never rang. Can somebody give her the right phone number? Uh, no, she got a hold of me, Kelly Kupro. Yeah, oh, from, did she get? Okay, I was gonna say I never got a call. So from the uh, big, from hey, the Big oh, Bang Theory, if uh, you don't know who yeah, that girl is. She did actually, you uh, uh, yeah, Penny uh, from the Big Bang Theory. She was on the show with uh, I, I can't think of what it was with uh, John Ritter when he passed away in the middle of that series, uh, and the gal from uh, uh, she she was uh, uh, oh gosh married with children, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, gal yeah that uh, uh, that that was her first start in TV there. But you know, on the marijuana front, folks, it, this kind of blew me away this morning when it came across the thing. City of Merced banned the sale of cultivation of mer medical marijuana. I was like, huh? They had an, uh, they had to roll a plan out. They didn't want to roll a plan out, so they they said we're going to ban it. So on the flip side, all the way on the other side of the country, New York officially launches marijuana as a form of medical treatment. That's the 23rd state to legalize medicinal marijuana. 46 percent of the states. Somewhere this week, there's got to be two states to jump on the bandwagon and give us 50%. I don't know. But here's an interesting number I found this morning on the marijuana front, on medical marijuana and legalizing marijuana. 81% are in favor of legalizing marijuana for medical use. This was a poll carried out by Harris Poll in May, and the last time they did a poll was 2001, 74%. So you can see there is... Uh, as that guy back in the 60s said, uh, uh, there is a change going on. Uh, uh, the perception of marijuana just isn't what it used to be. So hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see some improvements on that. China is in GMO news this week. I, I don't know if anybody's heard about this or caught this. Well, I kind of uh, heard about the again. stuff with the, uh, with the, uh, the plaster board. Oh, you mean oh, particle board? Man. Yeah, the rock. Yeah. The, the, the sheet rock that, that grows mold? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, you know, I, yeah. I am not surprised that anything that China does is, uh, you, know, not, you know, is not screwed up with GMO mm -hmm. or whatever it would take to make a billion pesos or whatever it is profit. Yeah, what, what, 
one of the things in the foreclosure market that what was really bad, uh, speaking of that sheetrock from China, was mold issues. And, and of course, once mold gets entered into a report, it triggers a whole bunch of stuff because it's a serious health issue. And, and one of the things that uh, um, the brainchild of the National Association of Mortgage Field Services came up with, we won't say mold, we'll call it discoloration. And then they want to use a kills and bleach treatment, mm. and that's like putting a Band-Aid on open-heart surgery. It, it's just not the thing. But on the GMO front here, farmers are illegally growing genetically modified corn in China's northeast district. It's a place, uh, um, there's five counties in, the, and I, I'm not sure I'm going to say this right, the Liaoning pro province. It's a... Uh, uh, China's breadbasket, if you will, kind of like the uh, Central Valley over there in California, Fallon area out here where, where we grow. But they tested positive for contamination of GMO corn strains. And, of course, these strains belong to Monsanto, Syngenta, DuPont, Pioneer, three of the big six egg companies, chemical companies. Uh, um, and obviously they're not saying anything, but the, the people who tested this corn was Greenpeace. And they are blaming the extremely lax and disorganized seed market management system uh, in the production and sale of the illegal seed varieties. How that's going to play out over there, I don't know, because they have been very staunch uh, about saying no to GMO, and all of a sudden it's all over the place in this country. So you see, so you've got to wonder how long is Monsanto's arm. Uh, I mean, they have a reach that's just unbelievable. And how did all this corn illegally get in the country that's supposedly not letting it in? Uh, that, that's the part I don't understand. Same way it gets anywhere. Graph and corruption. You know, before the show, we yeah. were talking about Mexico, how screwed up Mexico is. Oh, it was about their, the cartels. Yeah, the cartels and stuff. And, uh, you know, China's just the next, it, it's the biggest uh, since the Soviet Union collapse and black marketing and profiteering and everything going on there. China is now the new Russia. I mean, it's <laughs> you, you're oh, going to yeah. see everything going on there. And Monsanto, companies like that, uh, you know, you've seen legal companies go in there, Ford, General Motors, others that make auto parts, Hoover vacuum cleaners. I mean, it's it, anything you buy now, the remote starter for your car is made in China. You, you, you see all the legal stuff, but you don't realize that for everything legal that's going on there, something illegal is going on there, too. Yeah. And it's all for yeah. the bucks. Yeah, I, 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 I will say one thing for them, though. They they found the guy, um, the in, head of the building inspection department for that building that collapsed and killed all those people. They did execute them. Um, I mean, they do they do hold them up to a certain level of responsibility there. Yeah, that. Uh, I, I wonder if uh, any of these aliens that uh, Hillary is claiming may have paid us a visit, if she'll have a. a Maybe uh, have a cabinet uh, appointment for him or something. Uh, she, she's telling us that we may have been visited by aliens. Uh, and, of course, everybody said, well, you're technically incorrect. Mm -hmm. Who said that? <laughs> Hillary Clinton says aliens may have paid us a visit. Well, she was briefed on that as Secretary of State. So she was down in Area 51, and she's seen the craft. And, uh, you know, so she does know well, what she's Well, that's exactly about. what it says. The presidential hopeful talks UFOs promising to investigate Area 51 if mm -hmm. elected. Yeah, yeah so, I, I, I don't uh, think there's any I don't think there's any doubt of that. The reverse engineering that's gone on since the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, you know, I, if you, if I, you think I don't think we're alone on this planet in, in the universe. I really don't. Uh, you want to call them aliens, whatever, I don't know, man, but mm -hmm. I don't believe we are, are the only intelligent being walking upright in, in the universe, if you will. Yeah, I'd like I, to, I think there's other things I, out there. I'd like to see Donald Trump's policy to keep them out. <laughs> <laughs> Under the dome. Under the dome. Yeah. Under the dome. You'll make him get a comb over, man. Mm -hmm. Something. <laughs> Grow some hair. I don't know what, but uh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I read about that, too. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe this is a softening or an opening of uh, something we've all kind of suspected for a while, but no one's talked about. Clark Bell was yeah. probably right. You know what? I mean, he, when you think about it, there, 
They, they had strange things going on uh, uh, over in New Mexico, Los Alamos and stuff. And uh, uh, I I just, you know, like I said, I, I don't think we're alone on this planet. I think there's other things going on in the universe. We just haven't got there yet. We haven't seen them. We haven't discovered them, uh, if you will. Uh, and who knows? Uh, maybe there is another planet out there. Uh, we outgrow this one. We, we can move to. Yeah. Well, maybe we move to this planet from another one, too. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, you know, there, there, is a, there is a theory that has always been pushed out there, or hypotheses, that we're an experiment that's gone awry, and they don't know how to stop it, so they're just going to let us destroy ourselves. Oh, there goes the God, um, the God and evolution theory. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, yeah, that's and you, a... The opinions expressed by uh, Aaron and Silver Springs do not necessarily <laughs> reflect those of AM News, although we don't know why not. Yeah, this, this, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, jeez, UFOs. I, 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 I actually enjoy that. You know, Scotty talks about Bigfoot and UFOs and stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't. Well, think you know, I mean, there's just so many weird artifacts around the world. Uh, uh, like, like some of the uh, the the stuff in the rock uh, uh, up on the top of Machu Picchu in Peru and uh, uh, in South America. Uh, there, there, there's just a lot of... For example, let's take the Egyptians for a minute. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. How'd they do these pyramids and where did that technology go? Okay, I mean, you just don't wash that technology away when, when you destroy somebody. You keep it. Uh, uh, same with the Mayans. They had technology for their time and it's been washed away. Well, where uh, wait a minute. Now, uh, the pyramids were built by labor. Uh, of, of Israeli labor, well, slave labor, slave labor, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's like, and they've hypothesized how they've done it by building up ramps. Yeah, they did the levers and the uh, levers. They, they never really come up with this is how it was done, though. Mm -hmm. It's always been a hypothesis. It's always been a guess. And uh, you know what? Though those are some big rocks to be pushing around on some logs. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> big rocks. Yeah, big rocks. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> Eric, you know, I, I, I actually <laughs> love these conversations. Maybe tomorrow we're going to get into this a little bit more. But how do we get a hold of you out there at Alice? Hey, Alice? you know, tomorrow we might have to bang the gong. I don't know here. Yeah, 775 <laughs> on the telephone, folks. Look for a podcast uh, uh, with Foreclosure Pedia. Uh, we'll be doing a podcast about some of the things going on in property preservation on that World Wide Web, www.allidayllc.com. It's going to be a great day, folks. Let's all have a good time. Drive careful. Let's all be safe out there. Right. And, and tomorrow when you call, Aaron, remind me to tell you a story about the UFO in Lyon County. You got it. All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow, my friend. Okay. All right. Have a good I, day. I thought that was uh, Bigfoot in Lyon County. No, there was a, a and I'll, we'll talk about the story tomorrow because it's really kind of kind of interesting how it all worked out. But uh, it actually was something. But we'll talk about it tomorrow when Aaron's on the phone. Let's go from Silver Springs where the theme of the city is pavement. We don't need no stinking pavement all the way to Wall Street.